Welcome to the ANTS project, where you can find and use quality library database research and information literacy tutorials created by other librarians. The ANTS project uses a number of different sites to broadcast tutorials submitted to the project. In this video, we'll take a look at three of our core broadcast sites. YouTube, the Internet Archive, and Screencast.com. We use different sites for several reasons. First, the different software used to create tutorials produces different file types. Some publish projects as compressed digital video files such as MPEG-4. Other screencasting software applications publish projects using the Shockwave Flash file format. Using different broadcast sites allows us to find hosts for these different formats. The second reason we use different broadcast sites is for compatibility with different playback devices and operating systems. New standards for digital video have been established with the adoption of HTML5. For years, Flash Video has been the standard used by most video hosting sites, including YouTube, to deliver streaming video content. With the adoption of HTML5, Flash Video will be replaced by MPEG-4, WebM, and the Theora Video and Vorbis Audio formats. By using multiple hosting sites, we can ensure that our users will be able to view videos in one of the three HTML5 video formats. And finally, using multiple broadcast sites also makes the tutorials more visible and more searchable on the web. Let's take a closer look at three of the broadcast sites the ANTS project uses. Our YouTube channel is branded Lion TV which stands for Library Information Literacy Online Network. Lion TV is the public face of the ANTS project. All tutorials submitted to the project are added to our YouTube channel. If you have a Google or YouTube account, you can subscribe to Lion TV and receive updates when new content is added. Embedding code is easily accessed from the video record. you are welcome to embed tutorials at the point of need for your audience. By using the embed code, the user can easily link back to the YouTube record for the item, which ensures proper attribution is given to the creator of the tutorial. If you physically download the MPEG-4 or WebM video file from the YouTube server, then we do ask that you note the source and creator of the tutorial when redistributing the video files. This information can be found in the description in the YouTube record for each tutorial. YouTube will transcode video into MPEG-4 using the H.264 audio video codec and WebM files using the VP8 codec. As the major web browsers, including Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari adopt the HTML5 standards, they will all have built-in playback capability for either MPEG-4 or WebM. Currently, users of the Apple iOS operating system are able to access videos using the MPEG-4 format, while users of the Android operating system can access MPEG-4 or WebM video files. This covers most of our potential audience. The third digital video format supported by HTML5 is the open source video standard Theora. Theora Video is packaged with the open source Vorbis audio standard. The two standards are combined using the .ogg container file format. Ants project videos are added to the Internet Archive. These videos are automatically converted into AUG format. The ANTS project also uses screencast.com to host tutorials produced as Shockwave Flash files. Software such as Adobe Captivate and the free version of Jing publish projects using this file type. 
Shockwave Flash is not digital video. It is an interactive multimedia file format. Sites like YouTube do not support Shockwave Flash. Using these three broadcast sites allows the ANTS project to support the most commonly used file formats used to produce and deliver video style tutorials and instruction over the internet. Thank you for your interest in the ANTS project.